I'm really not showing much of this because I'm in a hurry. I want to get this done. But uh, use some Dom 5 8 inside diameter, 1 inch outside diameter. Drill the 1 inch hole in here. Have that in there, and that'll be my pivots. Those are spot welded in. Tried as best I could to reach in the back side there at the MIG welder. Get them. Holes drilled in the clevises. put the weld to it all. Question is, where do I start? Oh, uh, crank up the heat and weld these things on first. Huh? That curve it sure is making for a long stick out. I'll figure out how to get that cap cut in half somehow. Might go get the reciprocator. Well, I got five minutes left on my memory card, so better get this done under five, huh? I think it's all the way through. Apparently, not quite. That'll work so much better. Just for kicks and grins. Oh, I'm gonna roll right out of there in it. Still 
so that's pretty darn cool. I gotta straighten out this wheel though. Move the camera here real quick and you can see how bad it is. I think it's really tilted to the side now. <sighs> Alright, well that's whole modification. Cutting off all that stuff, putting on these arms, and doing everything I just did from when I figured out what I was going to do. It's been just a little bit over two hours. So that was not a bad setback and well worth it. Like I said, this is nice. I I like this a lot. So, all right, I'm going to go uh, find some lunch and I have no idea if I'm going to get back to this day or not. Oh, I got to empty my memory card too. What it got me to think of when I was wading through all this footage for this project, which I have a ton of footage. This is going to be really, really long if I actually go through and show um, every step of the way. Um, I'll try to hit it fast, um, but yeah, it's, it's still going to be many parts to this. But what I got to thinking about was when I get done with this series, I think I'm going to try to make a 15 minute video of the entire build and see if people like it. I did that once in the past with my making uh, the gear for the Atlas lathe. I had several parts of it all in detail and how I did it and then I went and made a 10 minute video of it and people loved that 10 minute video. They just wanted to see how I did it overall and not know all the details. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you all know that um, I am going to make a short video of this my short, like I said, 15 minutes hopefully. And uh, let me know what you think of that idea of having the whole series in detail and also having just a short overview video of it. So anyway, uh, let's get back to work on this project. Yeah, I got, I think all the parts cut out. I have enough holes drilled to test this thing, see if my linkage is about right. I've just got it set in there for now. It's not spot welded on or anything at this point. <sighs> I dropped everything on my toes. now gone from being motivated and slightly in a hurry to get this done to full on in a hurry to get this done because I just saw some clouds in the west went and checked radar and there's a huge thunderstorm building again and I'd really like to get this done and tested before I have to go and try it in the mud so hopefully I can get that done here in the next couple hours so I'm gonna start spotting this stuff together see if I can get it well together just good enough to do a test run for it is what is square and what isn't. a lot easier to lift too. That's effortless. Darn. 
close anyway. You like my nice puddle over there in front of the drill press? I just knocked over my jar of, uh, what's it called? I don't know, my cutting fluid, whatever brand name is. Oh well, it'll evaporate eventually, right? Until I track it all over the shop in the meantime. I need to find my bag of Hydra. I don't know where the heck that went. I'm going to put a stop uh, on top of this rectangular tubing. Well, between those two pieces, actually. That way it hits there. And that is nice. Very good control of it. I mean, that front edge, hard to see at this angle with the camera, but this front edge just barely moves. Which, and by the time you figure out that that barely moves and how little this back blade will be moving if you watch it in there oh, that's a very slight difference on that back blade I like that a lot <sighs> alright let's see here Well, I don't know if I should put the weld to it or not before I test it. I can't decide. Well, while I straighten out this tire, I'll debate whether I need to put the weld to it before I test it or not. I started cleaning up this iron pile the other day, YouTube, because I haven't pulled a piece off of there that was good in forever. And these trees are coming up and they need to be taken care of. But I tell you this because I can't get into my Cub Cadet right now. I threw all the iron I was keeping in front of the door. So I gotta move all that before I can get my Cub Cadet out. Between moving all that dang iron in front of the shed and trying to get the stupid caster realigned, I just killed two hours. Ugh. So anyway, the day is slipping away from me fast, but we are finally to the point where I can take her for a test spin.
why it does a beautiful job. That control is just so, well, it's not sensitive, right? Whatever the word is. I can really adjust it exactly how I want it. Really, really nice. Um, so I guess that means I will go ahead and put the weld to all those pieces that I have tacked on there now. And then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with the hook over here because I just got on that bolt. I'm surprised it stayed on that nut that whole time. But hey. Um, yeah. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. Um, I was hoping to actually get this thing done today, but I've realized that's an unrealistic goal. I'm very happy with this, though. I believe everything is welded together now. And I think all I have left to do is put on this front blade. Okay, right back here between these two pieces, I want to put in a stop. So I'm going to do that next before I forget again. But yeah, it's, I really like this lift. I really like having these wheels this way and this lift this way. And this is a much, much better way to go. This thing is doing wonderful. I pulled it around a lot. And I don't know if you can see how smooth that is in through there. That packer works good. It fills it in nice. No washboards. Walk along here just a little bit and kind of show you. You can see my tracks on top from when I put it back in the shop, but I mean it did a really, really good job through here. Did a good job pretty much everywhere. And having that height control like it is now is really nice. So, really, really happy with it. I was out working out here at the end of my lane. You can see the farm back off over there. And uh, here's the end of the lane. Got a bad spot out here. And I just wanted to show you this real quick. That it's doing a great job out here in this sand. 
this lighter colored sand here on top is what's going over the top of the blade. But it's working really well out here. It's doing a wonderful job. But what I really wanted to show you, if I got enough light, is that this roller actually has enough weight that it's actually cracking these decent sized pebbles. I don't know what you want to call that. Barely call it a rock, but it's cracking these up, which is great. And uh, over here we had some tire ruts. You can see the, the low spot here. The front blade was doing a very good job of knocking down this really high spot here. And then the back blade coming along and leveling that out. Um, it's still not down and level here. You still got a low spot. But my point of that was that um, it took it down in two passes that way. And it works really nice. I think it takes a little bit less horsepower that way. So that's that's working great too. It's I'm really really happy with this thing. So yeah, it's doing wonderful. This winch is working really good. Um, the wireless remote is working really good. Just a quick update before I uh, completely lose the sun there. Um, I think we'll call it quits here on the series. I really don't have anything else to do to it except paint it. Uh, well, I guess I need to shorten the uh, wires and hook them up permanently for the battery back there. Um, otherwise, I don't know of anything left to do. Uh, I do have a couple bolts missing out of this back blade back here, but I got to, I want to take these blades off when I paint it anyway, so I didn't put them in. But otherwise, I mean, it's just stuff like that is all that's left. I have this blade on the front here set pretty darn high. Um, basically is what I got thinking is it would just knock off the tall stuff and then the back blade will catch everything and make it nice and level and it seems to be working great that way. Um, any ridge that's sticking up it just kind of sort of shaves a little bit off on the front one and then the back one comes along and cleans it up. Or if you have a dirt clod or rock or something it'll catch it up here and it'll actually eventually work its way out to the side. So that's really neat. I'm liking that. Yeah, I'm really excited, YouTube. This was a great project. Had a lot more hours in it than I thought I would, but it was fun. It was great. Um, so now hopefully I can just get it sold.